Hey everybody out here sitting out on my porch. Got my coffee over there. Chicken chores have been done in the morning. Rabbit chores have been done. Brought the plants outside and I don't know, it's getting kind of cloudy. I, I, I had hoped it would be sunny today, but no such luck. But my main concern is the chickens. So today I've got to work on the chicken yard. Well, hello there, beauty. Look at you perched up there. All right, I'm going to bring you over to your food and water. Good morning, beautiful bunnies. Yeah, this is a three times a day thing now. Shoot, I'm not even going to practically have to mow my lawn with all these, all the weeds these rabbits eat. They eat very little pellets. They love dandelion flowers and grass and sticks. And they've been eating... See that little hay roll thing I made? Um, the one inside is almost empty. So that's cool. See, look at that. They've almost killed it. So I'm just gonna probably sometime today remove that and fill it back up again. Hi bunnies. Yeah, they've been pooping up a storm in here. I need to clean it, but I need to close this before they get out. It's always Patsy who gets out, but I know how to bring her back in. Hey girlfriend, come on. He's still not getting it. Here, let me open this a little bit more. Come on, Patsy. <laughs> She'll come eventually. I just got to make sure the other chickens don't get out. She's back in. Goodness. All right, I got to figure this out. See how she's getting out. I did get one more post pounded, and it's pretty solid. I pulled all this stuff up, <laughs> up and over, and I attached this just to extend it a little bit. Um, I don't think they can push through it. I'm not sure. Um, the puppies can't, but I don't know about Papa, and I attached another one up here. Um, I've taken kind of like some of the stuff that they could potentially jump up on and moved them away. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully this will hold them. I'm not sure. I got this tarp secured a little bit better so that it doesn't pull down on this. And I think I figured out how Patsy's been getting out. I think she was getting out by getting behind this thing that was kind of like out this way and going behind here. This wasn't flush to the side of the van. It was open and this netting stops around right here. So I think she was going behind this netting or in front of the netting, following it over here and then getting out over there. So I kind of shored it up. So we'll see if it uh, holds them. They're out free ranging right now because I've been out kind of like with them uh, most of the day. So they're just kind of tootling around. No drama yet. While I was out there, the UPS guy pulled up and delivered me this. And the last time something like this was delivered, well, you remember what it was? So I'm gonna tear into this. Where's my ch, -ch thing? I can just tear it open. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look it. Look it. Tractor supply. One. Oh my gosh, there's a ton. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. Is there a note? There is a note. Hang on. Oh, it's all stuck. A gift for you. I am so sorry for your recent loss. I hope these help in your efforts to move forward from Linda. Linda, thank you very, very much. It's definitely going to help me move forward. I have the two in my tractor supply account that I was previously sent. So this is six more. I mean, do the math, you guys. Um, it's definitely going to help me move forward. I'm going to think very carefully 
about priorities. I know I need some chicken feed. I have to get some chicken feed and some chicken scratch. So there's going to be that. But I think I may be able to get the fencing that I need to not only keep the dogs in, but keep the chickens in and keep the dogs out of the chicken yard. Um, the puppies are still going to be going at some point just when it's convenient. Um, oh, my neighbor dude, <laughs> he worked so hard, he hurt his back. Um, so we'll just wait until it's a good time. Um, these puppies have actually been very good today. I'm, I'm very pleased. So thank you, Linda. I'm going to put these in my account right now and start thinking the smartest way to spend this money. Another good thing that happened today, uh, my old neighbor, Miss Denise, the one that gave me the big huge water tote, she dropped by with her little baby girl to see the bunnies and that little girl was just so enchanted by those bunnies and the bunnies were enchanted by her too. She tried to stick her little finger in there to let them kind of nibble on her and um, I, don't worry, I give them plenty of wood to chew on to file down their teeth and she tried to like feed them through the little great thingy. Oh, it was just so adorable and she ran around, had a good time. Um, she brought me lunch, this beautiful, beautiful lunch. Um, oh, oh, Denise, if you're watching this, that trail mix you gave me, um, I cracked it open. <laughs> once you moved, uh, once you drove away and I just took a handful out and some of it got onto the ground and I ate some of it. Oh, delicious trail mix. But the chickens, I thought that there was going to be a blood bath because they all came running and just wanted to get to that trail mix. And I'm like, no, it's my trail mix. <laughs> Anyhow, I might share some with them, but that is a fantastic flavored trail mix. So thank you. Um, it was just a nice visit, so, um, anyhow, it was nice having that little tiny baby, well, I mean, she's like 19 months old, just, you know, walking all over the place, and just, it reminds me back when my son was little, and he, when he first learned to walk, he was like hell on wheels, he would take off here, take off there, constantly chasing after him, anyhow, um, I think I need to go check on Beauty, and, um, I did, empty out my eggs from the van and sent Denise home with some eggs. Um, and sorry once again for my dirty door. <laughs> the puppies get up here, um, but I really do need to get it cleaned off. Alright, so I got it back in. I've got it to open and close. I've got it to lock, but it's not going to last long <laughs> because there's stuff wrong with the inside of it. Um, inside of here, there's um, a little plastic thing that attaches to this here lock, and it's worn. Um, I don't know why it's worn, but if that doesn't art articulate correctly, the little tube that it goes inside of doesn't articulate correctly, and um, this is going to stick again, I can guarantee you. I think that there's some stuff inside that is warped. The door itself could be warped. Somebody suggested taking it off the hinges and switching things around. Um, but what I really think I need to do is just get a new, a new door knob because I could see inside the little locking mechanism is worn and that's not safe anyhow. Uh, but at least, <laughs> at least I got it to open and close. So let's see what happens. All right, good. Yep, disgusting. My mother would be appalled. <laughs> She's coming to visit here pretty soon, so I gotta get this cleaned off. Anyhow, it seems to be working. Let's see if I turn it this way. Yep. Okay, well, it's working for now. Today has been pretty awesome overall. Yeah, the puppies have been good. And the chickens have been free ranging, which is great. Um, I've got the yard at least partially fixed. I got a great prezi, um, six great prezies. <laughs> and uh, I had a wonderful meal brought to me by my friend Denise. So, you know what? Things are looking up. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.